So, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Sunny Gai. I am the pre-sales engineer uh, here in uh, Reddington Gulf, and I'm taking care of Veeam pre-sales. So, uh, today's session we are talking about uh, the Veeam cloud services part, uh, the offerings which are provided by Veeam when it comes to cloud offerings, uh, specifically on AWS platform. So today we have created a small deck for you guys. It is dedicated for the partner who wants to understand uh, the Veeam cloud offerings. Okay, so let's begin. So as far as the agenda for today's course, uh, we'll start the session with uh, the opportunities which are available in the market, wherein we can quit the VCSP environment. Uh, when it comes to the offerings, what all challenges uh, does an end customer faces and how being a VCSP partner, you can overcome those challenges. Uh, the overview of VCSP, what exactly VCSP means, uh, how you can uh, offer these services to end customers. Uh, then we have created some customized bundle for the partners specifically on AWS platform. So in today's world, everybody is talking about, uh, you know, the public cloud offerings and all. So how you can fit in specifically on AWS platform to build your infrastructure and start selling VCSP, uh, you know, offerings. Then um, after that, uh, we have also created uh, one uh, small Veeam promo, which, uh, I'm not sure has been extended or not, but still I'm going to talk about this promo uh, specifically for partners. But at this moment, I am not sure whether this promo is valid or not. Uh, let's see. And then the licensing part and the usage reporting. Uh, and then the last part is the VCSP Pulse. Uh, and to finish it off, uh, a small uh, demo of VCSP, how uh, things works in VCSP. So let's begin with the market opportunity. So where do we see that VCSP offerings can be available? If you see in today's world, right, availability becomes a major, you know, buzz of the town wherein each and every organization needs to make sure that their data is available 24 by 7. If you see the trend in the market from the past, you know, I guess maybe five, six years, you see, you know, most of the organization had started using server virtualization. If we see this report has been created by one of the research ESG, wherein they have kind of differentiated different types of workloads which are being used by uh, the end customer. So if you see this increased user use of server virtualization, which is almost 36%. I guess everybody is aware of what virtualization is. Then improving data backup and recovery. Everybody is focusing on the backup part because they want to make sure that they are uh, ready for any, you know, any disastrous scenario if it comes into the picture. So they are also heavily focusing on their DR strategies, on their backup strategies. Then uh, people had also started using orchestration tools, automation tools, wherein you know everything has to be automat autom um, um, automatically being resolved. So these type of tools have already started coming into the picture. Then lots of people have started doing data center consolidation. Uh, then you know uh, the new technologies which are coming into the picture, like SSD flash storages, which are being uh, which are being embedded into the data center technology. So these are different, different types of workloads, which, you know, lots of organization had started using it. Now for them, how you as a partner can make sure how you as a partner can see an opportunity for VCSP. If you see all those workloads which are mentioned here, every workload can be covered using Wing. Right, we fits in into each and every workload. So, how you as a VCSP partner can resolve customers' issues when it comes to maintaining or managing these workloads? So, let's discuss about it. 
so you as a partner you can come into the picture and you can provide your end customer which is a proper a full proof solution which takes care of backup as a service and dr as a service right what is backup as a service dr as a service means you are ensuring your end customers by creating an sla that you will take care of their backup and dr environment whenever requirement comes so here you can see your opportunities how you can convince customer wherein your uh, you know value can come into the picture and you can provide those uh, services to your end customers first of all these are couple of bullet points which are mentioned on the slides wherein it is easier for customer to understand what backup as a service dr as a service from partner point of view brings into the table so for an end customer if you see this is again a small survey in 2019 uh, by created by esg wherein customer says that they want to store 38% of the customer says that they want to store data remotely for dr for any fail over and fail back purposes wherein their workload can be instantaneously switch power on or powered off more cost effective than in house sometimes it makes sense for an end customer to uh, you know kind of outsource these services to a managed service partner because generally what happen managed service partners are specialized in the field they know the product in and out so they are aware in case of a disaster how to utilize those services when it comes to wind infrastructure so for an organization it makes more sense to provide those services to a managed partner then the third part is free of it staff for strategic initiatives they are not overloading the it staff with the day to day operations which comes with the backup orchestration dr etc etc so here you see an opportunity you can come into the picture and you can sell backup as a service dr as a service then reduce on premise hardware software since this offering is purely a cloud offering so the entire infrastructure is being placed on partner data center not on customer data center now these scenarios can be mixed and match so many different types of uh, you know uh, solutions can be built around it but when it comes to offering this is what customer gets then better management and reporting you have one centralized uh, uh, centralized console centralized management tools from where you are you know kind of orchestrating the entire customer backup so the management becomes more easier with the way of dashboarding reporting you know all these types of things comes into the ecsp part then obviously the most important part is your sls you are uh, relying uh, the customer had signed an sla and you are relying on veeam products to provide those sla so veeam always as you know Uh, the guys who are working with veeam who are selling veeam uh, product portfolios they are already aware that if you are using veeam best practices your rpos and rtos can always be lesser than 15 minutes with veeam guarantees so this can be achieved if you are using veeam best practices in vcsp scenario because your infrastructure is being created using veeam best practices so here is an opportunity for the partner the partners who wants to sell backup as a service and dr as a service right so now the next part is if you see why vcsp we is already doing so good uh, in the normal reseller world they are already number one in virtualization they came up with physical environment they are selling very nice licenses and everything is happening very nicely but when it comes to managed services managed services is that part of the organization wherein each and every organization is looking for something which is dependent right which means that uh, an organization can always speak with a partner and create one sla wherein the partner is responsible for maintaining their data right so 
62% of the organization says that they are interested in cloud infrastructure wherein partner will bring in some value added uh, responsibilities like some value adds right so if you are a managed service provider you know how the veeam infrastructure works you know all the functionalities of the product so if a customer or a tenant requires something specific to some feature you can come into the picture and you can provide those uh, you know value add quickly uh, rightly and correctly i would say 62% of the organization says that they require a managed services partner now if you see uh, in today's world all over the world uh, if we talk about the vcsp partners there are 24000 vcsp partners across the globe and those 34000 vcsp partners are covering 65000 plus veeam resellers okay i'll come back to on this what does it mean and along with it there are 365000 plus veeam customers which are being protected by vcsp partners this slide is a bit old slide this 365000 plus has become now 4000 400000 plus veeam customers right now this is your current addressable market so this is about the market opportunity wherein vcsp comes into the picture what all values it can provide to an end customer uh, this is about uh, from the sales side now what is vcsp we are talking about vcsp vcsp what is vcsp as the name suggests we cloud service provider so just to clear everybody here whosoever had joined in we does not have their own cloud we offers we tells their partners to provide cloud offerings on their own platform means we enables their own partners to sell Veeam cloud services what happens with this when Veeam tells their partners to sell cloud offerings for partners it becomes more profitable more discounted having more margin on top of it now how is it possible let's see as i said vcsp is just a term which is Veeam Cloud Service Provider, which provides two types of services. One is backup as a service, second is DR as a service. Right? Meaning you can provide both the services using VCSP platform. VCSP is a free platform which is being introduced by Veeam, wherein you don't have to pay even a single dollar when you sign a contract with Veeam. We will provide you the licenses you need to create, you need to install the infrastructure in your data center. And we tells you once you are done with it, once you sign the contract, we will put you in VCSP partner directory and you guys are eligible to sell backup as a service, DR as a service on VCSP platform, right? So this is very simple. It, it is not a rocket science. It, it works as the name suggests. Okay. Now, as I said, you need a infrastructure wherein you need to place this Veeam infrastructure, right? You need to have one Veeam backup replication server running. You need to have something called Veeam Cloud Connect running in your environment. So how do you make sure that your infrastructure is up for it right so if you see in today's world for a managed service provider who are providing managed services to an end customers for them if i see the main five or six challenges which they faces in today's world first and important foremost important point is the connectivity right so let's say you have a customer number one and you have signed one SLA with them, wherein you say that you own, you are managing their entire infrastructure, you are managing their backup and DR infrastructure. So for you to manage that infrastructure, connectivity becomes a problem, right? Either you need to create one connectivity with them 
or you need to invest in some type of infrastructures to get connected with them or customer has to provide you some kind of connectivity so connectivity is the major challenge for an service provider for an managed service provider second part is the infrastructure once the connectivity is established you need to browse customer infrastructure right you need to see what all things are there to manage you need to see the entire inventory of virtual infrastructure you need to see the physical server inventory you need to see the workstation inventory and to get into inside it it becomes more challenging because customer has lots of parameters which are installed in, in their data center which needs to be uh, you know dig deep and troubleshooted wisely then the third part is discovery how do you discover multiple locations of a customer which are spread across the globe right and how do you manage all those uh, locations all those you know um, infrastructure things so these are the three important factors which for a managed service provider sometimes becomes an issue then the important part which is for you the billing after resolving first three part with okay you have done everything now the important part is billing how do you bill all those things you are spending hours and hours to you know trouble shoot to make sure things work properly for a customer but at the end of the day it's your effort which needs to be monitored somehow so you need to see the billing so billing is an important part for an managed service provider wherein they can show uh that this is what has been invested on your uh, infrastructure when it comes to managed service provider and based on that you can have your billings right so this is important for you guys and then the last and not the least security right how secure is this infrastructure how secure is the connectivity between managed service provider and customer how secure the data is wherein the customer uh, data is placing in your environment how secure your environment is so security also becomes a most most important part of a managed service provider offerings now being said that managed service provider offering these five challenges customer may ask or you may face at customer side these are very common challenges now using vcsp how we can fulfill or how we can overcome those challenges or how we can build this infrastructure so we have something called a very nice tool beam service provider console this tool is a web based free of cost tool which resolves all those five challenges which i have explained in my previous slide now just to elaborate a bit more Beam Service Provider Console is a web-based tool, free of cost. Yes, free of cost, which manages virtual servers, physical servers, workstations from customer environment point of view to your environment. This tool is a multi-tenancy tool wherein you can create multiple tenants and. this tool will give you these three types of uh these three types of things so it's a web based customer onboarding billing and licensing tool in my demo i'll explain you what does it mean so with this tool you can configure or you can have all these three things running in remote device discovery monitoring and management without creating any site to site vpn or mpls connectivity or any kind of connectivity this tool automatically creates an ssl vpn tunnel with customer environment and start protecting these workloads once again you don't need any connectivity between your msp environment means your service provider environment and customer environment everything will be taken care by veeam service provider console what you need you just need an internet connection right 
and how it can be done it will be done via ssl over the wan connection using service provider console capabilities okay now the security how secure it is it is very much secure you can use encryption of veeam in aws i'll talk about it in my coming slides in aws you have something called immutability of the backups in the s3 which can be used in this scenario also so that you know when it comes to security when it comes to ransomware protection etc etc your backup or your dr data both are safe okay nobody can touch this so if uh, you have attended veeam sessions uh, for aws before also so in veeam sorry we have some capability called s3 immutability wherein we utilize your s3 immutability feature and we make your sure whatever data is is kept on the s3 cannot be write further so this is like 100% guarantee right so this this is how you can um, you know achieve all those five pointers which we have discussed about uh, in my previous slide so for a managed service provider this tool gives you lots of flexibility which can be utilized to manage your customer environment once again the tool is multi tenant so this is only customer one you can have loads of customers running uh, onto your environment one quick update right now uh, as of today the current version of veeam service provider is version 4 uh, very soon version 5 is also coming into the picture and that version 5 will have more capabilities so right now uh for this remote discovery monitoring and management we are only supporting windows workload but with version 5 linux workload also can be uh, you can be uh, protected uh, in the same way okay like the remote discovery you don't have to create anything although linux workload is supported now also but not by automation okay i in my demo i'll show you what i mean okay so as i said Veeam Service Provider Console. What all things it gives? Uh, first of all, it is free of cost. The guy who signs VCSP contract with Veeam, the guy, those guys will get this tool free of cost. Simplified setup, remote monitoring and management, integration and automation. As I said, to install uh, Windows Agent, you don't need to create side-to-side -side web uh, VPN. Everything is automated. Uh, there is one master file which gets generated and automatically it gets installed in the customer environment and it creates an SSL VPN tunnel. Then aggregated usage reporting and billing. This multi-tenant tool will give you lots of billing template which you can modify as per your customer requirement and you can bill your um, customer accordingly. You can create their usage report accordingly. So in my demo, I'll show you how these usage reports looks like. Uh, as I said, multi-tenant. self serviceability self serviceability means you can give the access of this tool to your end customers also wherein they can see or if they want to restore something that type of functionality is also available wherein customer have the right to restore their data itself right so all these things are possible using service provider console moving on to it the important part we have talked about the market and opportunity we have talked about the vcsp offerings we have talked about the data center but as i said in the beginning where do you install this infrastructure where do you keep this infrastructure so in today we are talking about aws infrastructure for you uh, as a partner you need to build a data center where in this entire veeam infrastructure is placed so for you it's an investment right So what we say instead of doing this data center on premise you guys can do this data center on aws platform right so in aws we have kind of created a small you know bundle for you guys uh, so that it will be easier for you to understand when it comes to cost so first let me start with the aws cost in my third line item i have taken one ec2 instance of 2 vcpu and 8 gb ram one ebs volume of 1 tb and aws bandwidth for 100 gb and if i see the total cost 223 dollar plus 11.59 this is your aws cost 
for one TB of data on EBS volume, wherein in this you can install all the infrastructure which are which is related with we okay so when you are building your vcsp infrastructure you need to install beam backup replication you need to install beam cloud connect you need to install beam service provider console these are the three components which are the prime component of an vcsp infrastructure the guys who are selling beam or who knows beam Beam is a modular component based software which can be scaled out at any point of time. So at an initial stage, the partners who want to sell VCSP services and they don't have their own infrastructure at an initial stage, you can run this on EC2 instance as your infrastructure grows, you can scale out your EC2 instance with multiple EC2 instances or you can increase the resources depends upon your requirement and you can scale out your infrastructure as your customer base grows right now from beam perspective this is the cost of backing up one virtual machine on vcsp infrastructure which is 10.67 dollar per month so if i say to back up one virtual machine in vcsp infrastructure on aws platform on pay as you go model you are paying 245.40 dollar per month right and if i see the overall cost for one year to back up one virtual machine having 1 tb of backed up data is 2944.70 dollar per year this cost is on pay as you go platform if on aws platform you further reserve your ec2 instance this cost can further be optimized we have taken this cost on the higher side so that you guys can understand when you are building a vcsp infrastructure on aws for one tp of data maximum your cost would be this to back up one virtual machine and with 100 gb bandwidth so this is a small bundle which we have created for you guys uh, obviously this can be further optimized this can be further tweaked in or tweaked out so this is how it can be done okay for the vbr cost the 11 points which you can see on the left hand side i'll explain you in my licensing policy what does it mean what does this mean no commit okay so let me quickly go on to the next slide this was the promo which we were running till 31st december 2020 uh, the guy who was signing uh, the new contract they were getting these uh, extra dollars from me i am not sure whether it has been extended or not but don't consider this uh, let me come back to you on this whether this is still valid or not okay now let's quickly go on to the main part which is demo uh i'll show you what all things i have explained how does this thing look like just give me a second let me once again share my screen uh where it is where it is okay just a minute guys yeah here you go yeah so i guess everybody can see my screen i'm sure oops and looks like my screen is freezed yeah so uh this is one um small uh, ec2 instance it's not an ec2 it's a windows based vm wherein i have installed 
uh, Veeam Cloud Connect and Veeam Backup Replication and Veeam Service Provider Console. So quickly, uh, just to give you an overview, my Veeam Cloud Connect and my Veeam Backup Replication is running in the same server. So the guy who uses Cloud Connect, uh, this is the new tab which you can see here. So this Cloud Connect is the component which is responsible for creating VPN tunnels, right? Here you see I have created one cloud gateway and from here also you can create multiple tenants. So just quickly show you what, how does the cloud gateway look like. Uh, this machine is, uh, is presented to internet. So it has internet connectivity. In EC2 you can easily uh, have a public DNS and route it to the public traffic. That is easily possible. This is how it looks like. It works on 6180 port. You can have multiple cloud gateways running on your environment. So right now I am having only one. So just click on next. Um, if you have any netting, you can use net or if it is directly connected, that can be utilized. Once you click on next, this is just one service which gets installed. So in my case, it's already installed. Okay. Uh, and this is where you create all the backup jobs, etc., etc. Now, this is from the Veeam Backup Replication and Cloud Connect side. You can automate this entire process using Veeam Service Provider Console tool, right? So this is the tool which looks like this. Uh, it's a web-based tool. This URL can be published onto internet and you can give the access to this URL to your end customer also when it is running on an EC2 instance. So this is how it looks like. Uh, this is the URL. Once you do this, you need to authenticate yourself. Let me quickly authenticate myself. Okay, I'm the super admin, so I have just logged in. Once you log in, this is the view which you receive. Okay, this is a super admin view wherein you can you you see a small dashboard wherein you see how many alarms etc etc uh, you can see in your front screen this dashboard can be further customized for an end customer also so end customer can have their own dashboard wherein they'll see the uh, widgets related with their infrastructure right now to start this process this veeam service provider console there is one tab on the right hand side which tells you each and everything. So the guys who are working with Veeam, everybody knows that Veeam is very simple when it comes to configuration. This is like next, next, next kind of scenario. So here also it's more or less same. Wherein if you click on the configuration, you see there are some steps on the central side which are being visible to you. So what you need to do when it comes to configuration of your Veeam service provider infrastructure you need to perform, you need to configure all those steps. Once you are configuring all those steps, you are done. Your VCSP infrastructure is up and running. Okay. What is the first step? First step is install new certificate. Right? It's a uh, local certificate which needs to be installed. So you just need to click on install new. This is a Windows certificate which gets installed in the VDR server. This is your own server. Then second is add Veeam Cloud Connect Server. Veeam Cloud Connect Server is wherein it's your Veeam Cloud Connect. I have just shown you in my previous, in, in my uh, like uh, VBR demo, wherein I have created a Cloud Connect. So that has to be added here. If I just click onto this, you see, if you click onto an ad, you, I have already added one. So let me show you quickly what all options you receive. Uh, Name, name the site wherein this Cloud Connect is being installed. Click on next. Uh, put your authentication, the VBR authentication. Click on next. Put your service account authentication, which is the local admin of the server. And that's it, done. Your, uh, your Veeam Cloud Connect server is installed here and it will look like this. So it will install a normal heartbeat kind of thing wherein you see it's 100% success, it is active. So once you are done with it, uh, your second step is also configured. Third is the notification. If you want to enable a notification, these notifications related with your backup, your emails, your you know alerts, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, which can be configured like this. Okay. So this is how it looks like. 
here also you can configure alarms management i am just giving you a brief overview so that you guys are aware what all options you see when you sign a vcsp contract so these all are the different different alarms which can be configured which can be customized according to your requirement etc etc so once you are done with these three steps your service provider console infrastructure is up and running now after that second part is you need to fill in your company profile right company profile in the in in the company profile you see you if you want to customize your environment like this uh what all names you have if you want to br do branding of your reports instead of this swim service provider console logo you can put your uh, company logo onto it and whatever reports or whatever you know whenever you log in into this console it will come with your company name logo and all so these all things can be customized uh brand your portal this this is the same branding which i have shown you this is the important part subscription plan right subscription plan is connected with your billing billing is what a template for you are a managed service provider you can have multiple customers wherein each customer have different sla and each sla is associated with some cost and every tenant every customer can have different type of cost how you can manage these different types of cost when it comes to billing for an customer here something we have called subscription plan for each plan for each customer you can have multiple subscription plan for example uh, let's say i have just quickly uh, show you all the options which you get let's say plan 1 which currency you want to use let's say uh, usd okay uh, if you have any taxation var gst etc etc <laughs> what level of discount you want to give it to them whatever it is yeah what are you doing for them let's say you have signed a contract for managed services wherein you say let's say 100 dollar per month managed vm let's say 100 dollar per vm workstation agent let's say 10 dollar 10 dollar per vm let's say server agent let's say 100 dollar per vm so, right so this is where you can define a cost let's say you have created a bundle wherein you are charging your end customer per gb right so whatever uh, dollar amount or whatever amount in your currency you want to choose you can define it here this is regarding backup okay now the next part uh, is the file share uh, the guys who are working with veeam they know that veeam can backup nas or filer also so if you want uh, to do a uh, filer costing that also can be done here whatever you want to do gb tb whatever type of bundles you want to keep let's say 10 let's say 10 and just you know <clears throat> doing a rough calculation and if you want to give him some kind of discount free of charge up to you there are lots of options then the cloud backup in veeam we have something called cloud backup as a service wherein you are only giving cloud backup services to a customer Uh, wherein the customer is not availing backup as a service dr as a service that also can be customized here then uh, the dr as a service replication part that also can be defined in here and once you are done with it that's it click on next and you are done your subscription plan will be visible here like this so this is how it looks like so once you are done with it you can apply this subscription plan to a uh, one customer or to different set of customers right so once you are done with it you are done till here after that okay the third step wherein you see register your first managed company or add a reseller there may be a chances a, a reseller a small reseller has some small set of customer and he don't want to have this vcsp infrastructure running in their environment So for those smaller resellers those resellers can be added in your service provider console as a reseller and you both can have some kind of contract and those resellers can also start selling service provider offerings based on your infrastructure so you can onboard a reseller also in your environment 
who are reselling your cloud services to his customers right so in my slide if you have seen reseller one word was also mentioned here so this is where you onboard your reseller and you give uh, the access of your reseller uh, you give access to your resellers of your portal right this is how you can onboard them what Whatever company name, this is all the resources, all the details, what all resources you want to provide them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, same, same. Uh, this thing you will get. Okay, make sense. Yeah, this is how you onboard. Let it be native cloud resources. What username, password you want to give them? Where do you want to place them? You can have multiple sites, uh, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So now this is about the configuration part. Now let's quickly go on to uh, the functionality parts of the VCSP. So as I told you, this is how your main control looks like. Once you have created the companies or the resellers, this will look like here, like this. Uh, these, this is where your resellers will look like. This is where you will give the access to resellers. This is the important part, discovery. As I said, you create something called managed discoveries, uh, which is an automation. You don't create any VPN. Beam will automatically create those SSL VPNs. Uh, so here you can see discovered computers. Here you can see discovered backup agents. So what you need to do, if you see here, uh, management agent, right? Once you click on this, Management agent is a master agent file which needs to be installed on uh, customer premise. So, for example, you have onboarded customer number one and now you want to manage your workload. It's a Windows workload. So, you need to download this agent. Once this agent is downloaded, you need to ship this agent to a customer and you need to install that agent in their uh, workload. Now, up to you, which workload is it? Right, whether it's a normal workload, Windows workload, virtual workload, physical workload, Linux workload. Once this is installed, right, after that, this will automatically create an SSL VPN tunnel. Right. So, what is that SSL VPN tunnel? This is a master agent file which is of uh, 12 MB. Once this master file is being installed, this will automatically uh, create this uh, tunnel. Here you can see this is how it looks like, right? So once this is done, that's all. You can click on this tab, discover backup agent. And in this backup agent, you can create multiple backup policies related with this. So right now my source is uh, not available. That's why you can see an error. But let me show you how it looks like. You click on the policies, you can see these are your backup policies. For example, if it is a workstation, click on add it. Okay. And you see what type of policies you can create. So it's a bit slow running everything on my laptop. That's why. So what do you want to do when it comes to backup workstation? What type of mode is it? What do you want to back up when it comes to backup policies, file, volume? This is the same console which you see in Beam Agent. Same option. So let's say if it is file level, what all things you want to back it up, put your path in here. Next, where do you want to back it up? So you see there are lots of options available, local storage, shared folder, backup repository, or cloud connect repository. So use cloud connect repository. So you remember I was mentioning uh, cloud uh, backup repository as a service. So here you define this Veeam cloud connect repository, click on next. Where is it? This cloud repository is coming from your backup infrastructure, which is Veeam backup replication, wherein you have created a cloud gateway. So if it is an EC2 instance, it is your managed volume, right? You can define your retention uh, here. Click on next, define your tenant. So which tenant will have access to this? So these tenants you create in this service provider console. I'll show you where to create those tenants. Next, backup cache if you want to enable, schedule, that's it. Once you are done with it, your uh, policy for backup is being created, right? So that's it. Here you can see the policy like this. And this policies can be applied to a computer, discovered computer. So here you can see 
it can be applied to this computer. So right now the source is not reachable. That's why you can see this error. Now, where to create the user, the multiple tenants, right? Role-based access users. So here you can see something called roles and users. You remember we have created the tenant. So here you can add all those tenants, create that local user in your Windows platform. And after that, add that user from here, click on new. Uh, what role do you want to give it to him? Read only user, portal operator, portal ad administrator. So these three different types of role you receive uh, when it comes to this. Okay. And uh, this can be given it to an end customer. This can be given it to a reseller. This can be given it to your team. Depends on what workflow you want to use. Right. So this is, as I said, it's a very nice tool, uh, uh, which gives you lots of functionality. Now, here comes the billing part. Okay, you remember we have created some subscriptions and all. We have created some subscription plans and all. How you see all those? It comes here in uh, uh, in in a dashboard kind of scenario wherein you can have this dashboard available to your customer also when it comes to billing, right? So based on their plan or their template, these widgets will be visible to them, right? Now the important part how do you tell your customer that what customer has utilized so we have something called reports these reports automatically gets generated based on the cycle which you have configured so this report can be for your veeam cloud connect server this can be for the protected vms this can be based on the companies etc etc so these all reports can be customized can be configured in a way you want right so let's say just to show you the options what all options you see uh, company wise for which company you want to configure a report you can see a company which location so location let's say you can have multiple location uh, so in my case it's one only select rpos what do you want how do you want to see Server based report, agent based reports, backup policy based reports, etc. etc. So these all reports you can schedule it and you can configure it in your environment. And these reports can be given it to customers, can be given it to resellers, you can use it for your own purposes, etc. etc. Right. So from my side, this would be a kind of brief overview wherein you know uh, we kind of explain what VCSP is, how you can enable Veeam Service Provider Console on AWS platform, what all functionalities you get when it comes to Veeam Service Provider Console. Uh, these all things uh, are possible using Veeam Service Provider Console. As I said, right now, from an initial point of view, everything is being installed in one server, but it can be scaled out at any point of time. Veeam is a modular based software. So from my side, uh, this is it. Let me see if any question is there, which needs to be answered. Uh, I'll, I'll answer it. I'll quickly unshare my screen. Let's see. Uh, is there any question? So I can see as of now that is no question. Guys, any question, anything related with VCSP you want to ask, you can ask me. There is no problem. Or okay, so Sapnil has asked one question. The setup has to be on cloud. So from Veeam perspective, uh it's not uh, uh, it's not a requirement. It has to be on cloud. It can be on your premise as well, right? Why we are showing it onto a cloud? Because on cloud, you are not investing on a data center, right? When you are selling service provider or you are selling managed services, there is one SLA wherein you are committing some, you know, data security, et cetera, et cetera, with the end customer. So for a partner who does not have the data center in-house, they can build it on public cloud. But if you have a data center in-house, you have all the ISOs of the world in your data center, you can also use it. 
so it is not mandatory it has to be on the cloud yeah so goher is also asking this question does it work with nitro based aws regions like bahrain any special see from aws perspective we don't have any uh, you know any uh, uh, what i would say that any kind of uh, any any a uh, feasibility wherein it restricts for any aws platform what i need i just need one ec2 instance with windows running on it so on windows it can run very easily and the public dns of that ec2 instance can be published can be accessed outside very easily right so there is no limitation when it comes to uh, any region yeah so let's see any other question is that I still have nine more minutes, guys. If anybody wants to ask anything, let me put my email ID also onto the chat. If anybody wants to know more about it, they can directly reach out to me. You can send me an email. We can have uh, you know more discussions related with it. If you want to uh, have a thirty days. demo in your environment you want to see how it behaves you want to test it with your customers that also can be arranged uh, let me know uh, since we are not getting any questions let me quickly tell you one more thing which is the licensing part uh, let me quickly tell you so that uh, you guys can see okay uh, so when it comes to licensing this licensing is a bit different compared to the normal veeam licensing uh, in veeam this licensing is based on two types of contract one is the no commitment contract wherein you are not committing anything if it's like if you are consuming it you are paying it to veeam if you are not consuming it you are not paying anything to veeam it's 0 dollar and second type of licensing is vra volume rental agreement wherein you are signing a minimum commitment based on the points i'll explain you what does it mean so if minimum monthly commitment whereas a commitment is for one year and you tell we that minimum you are you will commit these number of points for respective one year right and based on that it will be charged to you every month after usage like post paid consumption right now each veeam product has its value in points when it comes to pricing for vcsp infrastructure the licensing is being divided into number of points the price per point depends on the contract you choose right there are two types of contract no commit and vra the smallest contract is if you talk about volume rental agreement is 200 points okay what is 200 points how do you how you can achieve these number of points what does it mean here it is so in veeam if you are already selling veeam you are aware of some concept called veeam universal license this is a universal license so we have three editions enterprise plus enterprise and standard right so whenever you are building a vcsp infrastructure we as a dst as an aggregator or as a vendor we always uh, tell you to use enterprise plus infrastructure because it has all the functionalities now in in my aws bundle if you have seen there was something called 11 was mentioned there in my aws bundle so this 11 is the point consumption to back up one virtual machine on no commit plan right so what it means it the pricing is based on the number of points if you are backing up one virtual machine you are consuming 11 points and those 11 points are associated with $1 value right if you want to back up one physical server which is veeam agent for server whether it is windows or linux you are consuming 11 points if you are backing up one workstation you are consuming 4 points if you are backing up 250 gb nas filer 10 points if you are backing up any app like sap oracle armen sql db etc etc you are consuming 11 points on enterprise plus infrastructure right now similarly when it comes to cloud connect you remember i have explained cloud back cloud backup as a service cloud storage as a service 
So this is about backing up. This is about cloud storage. If you are using cloud connect services only to use cloud storage, you, these are the number of respective points you are consuming, right? Seven for physical server, five for virtual machine, three for workstation, 10 for replication, right? DR. And for the other products like this. Now, these are the consumptions which you do. Now, how does the calculation work? Calculation is very easy. Calculation is based on your commitment or no commitment. If you see, uh, can I see? No. So if you see, uh, if you are on a no commit plan, right? So for example, you want to back up, let's say one virtual machine on no commit plan and you are consuming 11 points. So with no commit plan, your dollar value, let me quickly show you. It has some dollar value associated with it. Uh, I guess everybody can see my calculator. I guess no. So I'll, I'll quickly explain you how it works. So in no commit, the dollar value is 0.97 dollar per month. So 11 into 0.97 dollar is your monthly cost to back up one virtual machine, which is 10.67. If you are committing 200 point plan, it becomes 0.87. If you are committing next one is 800 point plan, then your dollar value reduces. It means the more VRA volume rental agreement you commit, your dollar value, your costing reduces. So at an initial stage, if you want to go ahead with no commit plan, wherein you are not committing anything, 0.97 dollar per point is your per month dollar value, right? Now, uh, one more uh, important thing, VCSP Pulse. VCSP Pulse is an online platform launched by Veeam almost, uh, I guess, uh, five, six months, uh, which gives you lots of functionality as a service provider. Only service providers will have access to this. With this portal, you can have all your contracts, all your licenses, everything being managed directly on Pulse portal. It's an online platform which is only being provided to service providers. The most important part and most good thing of this part, um, you can see your contract, etc, etc. Everything is being available there. You can also generate licenses, right? What is the important part means once you generate a license, means you can use those licenses for your end customers. So the guy who does not want to connect his infrastructure with managed service provider infrastructure, he only requires a license key. Therein also you can come and you can provide your license keys and you can earn some you know, margin on top of it. So it's a very nice tool. I, I kind of love this tool because this resolves lots of problems and it opens lots of you know uh, market for the VCSP guys who wants to sell VCSP offerings. So this is a very nice tool. Uh, this is how you can log in into this only service provider will have access to it. So from your pro partner portal, this is how it looks like. Uh, that's it guys from my side. Uh, this is what it is. Uh, if you have any question, if you want to go more into technical details, if you want to have a deep dive technical overview, or if you want to install this in your environment, you want to start selling these services, send me an email. We can discuss more about it. Uh, as I said, this partnership is free of cost. You don't have to pay even a single dollar. You can, first you are consuming it. After that, you need to start paying for it. So that's all from my side. Let me quickly see if any other question is there. Uh, uh, that's all. So from my side, guys, I guess there will be one quiz uh, after this, which would be uh, provided to you. And if you answer those quiz, I guess there are some. And with that, that's how our current readable looks like. Thank you everyone for taking part in the quiz. Um, Subhashi, over to you, please.